Assalamu alaikum, can you hear me? Wa alaikum assalam, yes, I can hear you. Uh, we are doing this class because we couldn't do our work yesterday and uh, mm. we were actually, I, I always follow my record, but obviously you, sh you should always check your one because I think we were doing last time LDR. Yes. yes. Okay. Can you check the last concept? In darkness, its resistance increases, while in brightness, its resistance decreases. Yes. So now we are starting a mathematical concept, ratio-based formulas for resistance. Now you have to copy this screen as a heading. Give a new heading. Done. Now, this is a formula first to recall that resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length. Resistance is inversely proportional to area. So longer wire have high resistance and thicker wires have low resistance. So resistance is proportional to length and resistance is inversely proportional to area. So, oh, so oh, what did you say thicker wires have? Thicker wires like cables have low resistance and thin wires have high resistance. Hmm. Okay, now you have to copy this screen. You already have copied it once. It's a repetition.
Now see the formula. This is the first formula. R1 upon R2 is equal to L1 upon L2, A2 upon A1. R1 upon R2 is equal to L1 upon L2 and D2 upon D1. D is the diameter. These formulas are valid. These formulas are valid when the material is the same. If it is copper, it remains copper. You change the length. If it is aluminum, it remains aluminum. You can change the cross-sectional area. So you have to copy these two formulas. Done. Have you copied it? Yes. Okay, good. Now, what is cross-sectional area in physics? I have shaded it because in physics, maths, there is a, there is a confusion that what is cross-sectional area? Look at closely this shaded part. Plus, there is another formula for cross-sectional area, this formula. This formula is also used to calculate the cross-sectional area, you have to copy, this is P. Yeah, sorry, did you say something? No. Okay. Is it R is equal to D over T, D over T? R, R, R for radius. R is equal to, radius is equal to diameter upon two. Oh, okay. It's a basic, very, very well-known formula. Half of yes. diameter is radius. Yes. Done. In these ratio-based formulas, unit conversion can be ignored if the numerator is in millimeter and the denominator is also in millimeter. You can leave it normally. People think for converting in meter. That is right in normal cases. But in a ratio formula, you do not convert, then doesn't matter. Now, see the first example. It's an example card. And you can see the example. Length is 5 centimeter, area is 20 centimeter square, resistance is 30. I have brought a thicker wire whose length is 10, area is 50. And I want to know the resistance. I have marked the titles. You have to copy down this example. No. Okay, now this is the formula. This is the formula. You have already copied the formula, formula number one. Okay, now 
try to apply formula number one to solve this example. How did 30? Did you get any answer? No, I'm asking how, how did you get 30? Just like first? you have copied the data, you have to write down the formula. I have already marked for you R1, R2, L1, L2. Everything is marked. You just have to substitute the numbers and you have to solve. Look the sample calculation. Thirty-seven. What you are getting? Mm, Thirty-seven. But I'm getting twenty-four. Can you please check your calculation? How you're getting? Thirty-seven. How you get? I have done the steps also. I have done these steps also. Please check your calculation quickly. Yes, it's trying. It's the 24. Sorry, what you are now getting? At 24. Okay. Now see the second example and uh, please try to do it yourself. This is the second example. I have marked L1, A1, R2, L2, A2, R2. And uh, first you copy this example. Okay.
Have you copied the question? Yes. I have shown the working, the steps of the working, and you compare it and tell me what answer you are getting. Um, Sorry? Just 1600. 1600? How can you see the steps? How you are getting 1600? Can you compare? I, the did, the same. I did the same step. So. Then. 2 into 2 is 4. Yes. After that, 4 will go there. Mm -hmm. Isn't 4 supposed to be multiplied with 4? What 4 is doing here? I did 400 divided by R square. Oh, but how can you multiply by 4? 4 will go there. So when 4 will go there, just see this calculation, please. 400 mm -hmm. upon R2, 22 is 4. Then 4 will go there. It will go down. But first 400 was being divided. So then how you can get... 1600 because, is not possible. Answer is 100. Because please, please do the correction quickly. Now, see example number three, I have a wire of length two meter, which I am replacing with the same material wire of three meter and diameter is this time given. So you have to copy this example, please.
Um, okay. Have you copied that question? Yes. Okay. Now, first write down the formula, insert the values, and very carefully now solve the calculation. Let me know once you get the answer. Uh, 27. I'm getting 27.5. Yes. Yes. Not again, Carson. Good. Now I'm putting an example MCQ and the question says a one meter length of wire of cross sectional area 0.4 has a resistance of two. What is the resistance of a 0.5 meter length of wire of the same material with a cross sectional area of 0.8? Read the question and now solve it for me. I have marked everything for you. Read the question, see the formula and then quickly solve.
once you get the answer let me know Eight points. But eight is in, not an acha eight. How come eight is? Not? I'm getting zero point five. Can you please check anything wrong with the calculator? Because why answers are coming wrong? I'm getting eight points. See the same calculation you are doing? Yes. What is one upon point five? Can you solve for me on a calculator? What is one Two. upon point five? Two. What is two into two? Four. Now at this point, look, the same mistake is occurring. How you solve it? Somehow, I don't know why, but somehow you're multiplying the numbers across the equal sign. You can't multiply. Now how you solve it? Four will go down and R2 will come up like this. One mistake is occurring. Please notify, highlight oh. this mistake. Somehow you are multiplying across the equal sign. You can't multiply when there is an equal sign in between. Please check the mistake. Okay. You are making one mistake. Please make it clear that this is not right to make a uh, multiplication when there is an equal sign in between. Now, uh, give a heading, measuring instruments in electrical circuits. Give a new heading. There are two main instruments in our course, M-meter and Voltmeter. These are two important instruments in our course. Give this, copy down this list. Um. Now see, I'm starting with M-meter and uh, remember that it is an instrument which is used to measure electric current. Um, it has two common symbols. M yes, did you see, did you see anything? No. Okay, give the heading, M meter. 
and uh, write under it an instrument used to measure electric current an m meter sorry an instrument used to measure electric current copy these two symbols Copy it. Yes. So remember M meter, this is the how M meter looks like. This is the appearance of the M meter. It is a moving coil meter. It has a needle which moves inside it. From the internal side, it has a needle which is mounted on a coil. This is how an M meter actually works. It has a magnetic core and the needle moves on a dial and the needle is moving like uh, the speedometer of a car. It is called a moving coil meter. This is the appearance of a moving coil meter, M meter. Write under it that it is a moving coil meter. It is a, it is a moving coil meter. Yes. Then now see the next concept. Normally, uh, in meters like M meter, volt meter, they have a double range. What is the concept of a double range? If you see this screen, you can see zero, and here you can reach up to 0.7. One range is here, then zero and five, and there is another range. So you can say that this meter has a double range. This meter has a double range. And why we have two ranges? For smaller readings, we take the smaller range. And for bigger readings, we take okay. the bigger scale. So write under it that it has, it has two ranges normally. Yeah, I need to draw this. Uh, and first copy the statement, draw, uh, sorry, first write it that uh, there are generally, there are commonly two ranges. Two ranges. For example. Okay, now copy this example. Okay. Copy this. I'm just coming. Copy this. Okay.
Now, uh, now see this concept, the concept of division and range and sensitivity. Whenever meters are designed, there are two important features. One is called range. Range means how long it can measure and sensitivity means one division of the meter read how much. Now you can see there are 10 divisions. There are 10 divisions and one division is 0.1. How come one division is 0.1? Because zero till one, if the scale is zero till one and there are 10 divisions, so one division will be one upon 10, 0 0.1. This 0 0.1 is called sensitivity and zero till one, that is called the range. So now make a concept, now make a concept that every instrument has two important properties, range and sensitivity. So write under it that every measuring instrument, every measuring instrument has two important properties, Every measuring instrument has two important properties. Yes. Number one, range. Number two, sensitivity. So now, for example, and copy this. And what you call 0 0.1? 0 0.1 because there are 10 divisions oh. like in maths. If 0 till 1, there are 10 division. So 1 division will be 1 upon 10, 0 0.1. This one is coming here. Do I need to copy the image, the scale? Uh, just copy the whole scale, but this calculation is not necessary to copy one upon 10 Wali. So you can okay. necessarily not, not require to copy this. Done. Okay. Now see a very important concept. Now I have changed and I've taken zero till 10. Now one division is reading one because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one division is reading one. It has a range zero till 10. It has a range zero till 10. So now the, re the, now the range has increased, but the sensitivity has decreased. Mm -hmm. So now you have to copy this screen, this example. Range is inversely proportional to sensitivity. Range and sensitivity are inversely proportional. So when you increase the range, sensitivity will decrease. Now you have to copy this screen. Done. Now, our next concept, when such double range meters are designed, there are always some entries before the zero. You can see there is an entry, there is a marking before zero. Why there is a marking before zero? It is a special provision 
because the needle is moving because the needle is moving if there is no space before zero the needle can break because if current reverses you connect the meter wrongly the current will reverse and it can break the meter so they they accommodate the meter they accommodate the meter movement that the, the needle movement by keeping a space bit before the zero mark you have already copied the diagram you have to go back to the diagram and update it Done. So, right under it, there is a provision before the zero mark. There is a provision. There is a provision before the zero mark. This is to manage reverse current. This is to manage reverse current. Now, uh, M meter is available in digital version and analog version. This is a digital version, right? So M meter is available in digital I'm version sorry. as well as that analog version. Said, there is a provision before zero. No. There is a provision before zero to uh, mm -hmm. accommodate reverse current. Mm -hmm. Reverse current. So, uh, reverse current. So, right after that, uh, <clears throat> M meter is available. M meter is available in both digital and analog version. M meter is available in both analog. M meter. M meter is available in both analog. M meter is available in both analog and digital version. So whenever you talk about these type of meters, normally they always have two versions. One is analog and second is digital now can you tell me what is the difference between an analog and digital meter on appearance in digital will have a reading hmm. digital has a number scale yes and uh, what about uh, analog? I think I give electrical signals. So. Digital has a display. Digital, look, this is digital. Digital has a display, and analog has a scale. This is a major difference. Now let's move to our next concept. M meter is always connected in series with the main circuit. It's a low resistance meter and it is always connected in series. Why it is connected in series? Because it will share a little voltage because it has a very low resistance. So it won't disturb the circuit. It's a very low resistance meter. <coughs> so now, uh, change the line and write under it an M meter is always
An emitter is always connected in series. So you have to copy this screen now. Yeah. Okay, this is a series circuit. Now, M meter is a low resistance meter. Right under it, M meter. M meter is a low resistance meter. Yeah. M meter is a low resistance meter and uh, whenever you are connecting it in a circuit, uh, it's a common practice to tap the meter. What is tapping? Like this. Tuck, tuck. So we tap the meter because sometimes the needle is stuck somewhere. So in order to remove any physical hindrance in the motion of the needle, we tap the meter. So right under it, that uh, a moving coil meter is commonly tapped before use. A moving coil meter is tapped before use. To remove any hindrance, to remove any hindrance in the motion of the needle, to remove any hindrance in the motion of the needle. Now, give a new heading, voltmeter. Write under it that it is used to measure PD across a load. It is used to measure PD across a load, it's a voltmeter. Voltmeter means it is going to measure voltage. Uh, we PD have a against. PD across a load. So voltmeter, voltmeter is used to measure voltage. There are two options, voltmeter and millivoltmeter. You have to copy this. There is another option which is rare, but it can come. It is called micro voltmeter in physics. Micro means 10 power minus 6. This is rare, but micro, milli, nano, pico, these are actually unit conversions and they can come anywhere in the syllabus. So this is actually a general feature in our physics. You have to copy this screen now. Okay. 
is a new micro. Okay. It is micro. I just by mistake cut it. This is a volt meter. It is also a moving coil meter. The needle moves on a dial. And this is the digital version. It is also available in digital version. A voltmeter is a high resistance meter. Voltmeter is a high resistance meter. And it is always connected in parallel. So now you have to write under it that voltmeter voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Then you have to copy this screen. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Now, do you, do you see the plus sign on the voltmeter? I'm showing the positive sign on the voltmeter and it is a good practice to remember that you should show the positive polarity on the voltmeter. Examiners are impressed if you show the polarity. Now you can see this positive sign, this one. Now it shows that you have connected, it shows that you have connected it correctly because you know, when you are putting a cell or a battery, you have to connect positive with positive. So it's a polarity mark. Examiners are impressed if student shows the polarity mark. Voltmeter is a very high resistance meter and its resistance is virtually infinite, so high that we take it virtually infinite. You have to copy this screen. Um, I already. You already have copied it. Yes, when I threw the symbol, I wrote very high. So voltmeter is a high resistance meter. It has also a double range. It has also a double range like N meter. Now write under it that it also, sorry, a voltmeter also has a double range a voltmeter a voltmeter also has a double range for greater accuracy Now, give a heading, determination. How was I supposed to draw the... No, no, this. no need to draw it. Hmm. Already you have drawn it for M meter. The same thing is there. Now, give a heading, determination of resistance. So give this heading and we stop here because uh, we are to start this topic and let's start this topic in a new class. It's up to here and uh, we will continue in our next class. Allah Hafiz. <laughs>